In this video we're going to be looking at a van which is on a horizontal surface and it is attached to a crate and it's by going with a rope going over a pulley. So a van of mass 1300 kilograms and a crate of mass 300 kilograms are connected by a light and extensible rope. The rope passes over a light smooth pulley as shown in the diagram below. The rope between the pulley and the van is horizontal. So first of all I'm just going to uh, put a couple of things. There's going to be a tension going here which has to move your crate and there is also going to be a tension going the other way which is pulling against the van if you can imagine. There would also be a, a tension going down the way from your uh, pulley and I'll squeeze another one in, a tension going this way horizontally from your pulley as well. So initially the van is at rest and the crate rests on a lower, on lower level with the rope taut. The van moves away from the pulley to lift the crane from the lower level. And the van's engine produces a constant driving force of 5,000 newtons. Model the van and create as particles and hence determine the acceleration of the van. So I'm going to do this diagram out again. There was another thing we really we should have marked on, which was the weight of this crate. Um, the crate was 3, 000, uh, 3, sorry, 300 uh, kilograms. We'll mark that on our other diagram, but just so you know, that's where that would have been. Okay. So our diagram, you've got your pulley, you've got your crate, which was 3000 kilograms, so 3000 G was the weight of it. You've got your T going this way, your T going this way, and then you've got your T going this way, the T going left end from the van, and then your van, and the mass of the van was 1300 kilograms. And the van was producing a tractive force, it had said, of 5,000 newtons to uh, make the whole thing accelerate to the right here and vertically up here. So that is your uh, system. So what we want to do for part one is find the acceleration of the van. So I'll zoom down so we've got plenty of room. And I will, uh, I'm going to assume there's no resistance and I'm going to look at the whole system. Look at the whole system, and I'm going to use F equals oops F equals M A. So when you use F equals M A, so overall you've got 5,000 is your pulling force. All of the T's cancel out, so you've just got 5,000 minus 300 G, and that's equal to your total mass. And your total mass is going to be 1,600, and that's times your your acceleration. So 5,000 minus 300 times the 10 is going to be 2,000 is equal to 1,600a. So if you did do 2,000 divided by 1,600, you're going to get 1 1.25 meters per second squared. That is your acceleration. Okay, for part uh, two, let's just go back up and have a look at part two. Part two says find the tension in the rope. So we've got to find the tension in the rope uh, in this part two. So I'm going to look just at the van this time. So I'm going to look at just the van. And if I'm looking just at the van, there's your van, there's the forces on your van. And we'll have we we'll go with F equals MA again. So my pulling force is 500 minus my tension, and that's equal to my mass, which is 1300, times my acceleration, which you've just worked out to be 1.25. So that's going to be 5,000. I'm just going to say minus 1,300 times 1.25. Let the calculator do the work is equal to t and when I do that on my calculator I will get 3,375 newtons for my value of my tension t. Okay last part um, the last part is the force exerted by the rope on the pulley when the bodies are in motion. Okay right uh, let's have a look at our pulley. So our pulley we're going to treat it as a particle so here is a diagram of your pulley. You've got your pulley here. I've got a tension going this way. I've got tension going this way. I've got a tension going this way. That's the forces on the pulley. So where I'm getting this from is just by looking, whoops, uh, by looking at your pulley. There you have the tension there. One going to the right, one going vertically down. That's all we've got. So uh, in this one then, what we want to do uh, we want to uh, redraw this as 
a right angle triangle and I'm going to put in my tensions now which we knew were 3375 newtons and then downwards was 3375 newtons and then what we want to do is just find the overall force so I'm just going to call this R because it is just the resultant force really so uh, it's a result R, call it R, or you call the overall force. In fact, we'll just call it force, it doesn't matter. Call it force. So we'll just say force is equal to, and it's going to be the square root of whatever that was, 3375 squared. We'll just do another one of those, 3375 squared. And if you do that out, what I have got is 4772, uh, 0.97 newtons to 2 decimal places. Okay, notice it says here as well, uh, state one assumption you have made in your answers. Uh, the assumption we are going to say we've made throughout is uh, is that there is no uh, no resistance as well. So there's no resistance on the on the on the on the pulley. There's no resistance in the van. Uh, so we'll just say no res assumption is. Assumption is no resistance. And that's it.